morning. Morning. Where's What's going scissor? on? Where's my scissor? You were there, they were around here? Yeah, I'm using them. I'll put like this so it won't be wet at the end. What are you making? Dim sum. And what is that? My steamer. Oh boy, you happy about that thing? Very happy. I should have had it a long time ago. In Asia, almost as important as a stove is in America, a steamer is in China. Would you say so? Yeah. Yeah. They steam everything. We steam human too. What? You steam humans? Sauna. Oh yeah, 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 right. So what do we got for dim sum? We have Xiaolong Bao. We have... What's the Chinese name for that? Changpen. Changpen. I like Changpen. What are these? I've never had these at dim sum. Stick the rice with chicken. Uh, our friends are going to be here in a little minute. Uh, Eva's a best friend from school's parents, who we've become really good friends with. They've said they've had dim sum, but they're going to have dim sum here at the house. Basically, the entryway to the garage is full of stuff because... We are going to epoxy the floor of the garage today. Actually, not me, not we. It's the epoxy guru. One of my neighbors down the street had a trailer. I planned on doing all the epoxy work myself, but um, I sort of decided against it because I have a neighbor down the street that does it. And uh, so he's doing a few of the neighbors today. We're gonna have a sort of creamy tan epoxied floor that we'll be able to have in the garage in a few days, which is super cool. He's grinding his house right now, his garage he's doing personally, he just moved in too. But I'll leave links to his, uh, his company and stuff. We'll, hopefully he does a good job. He seems like a really nice guy. And I'll tell you what, the people in this neighborhood, I'm super lucky. Neighbor across the street, daughter similar age to Eva plays. N neighbor two down, daughter's 11. Very sweet, the family is super sweet. Oh, and the one across the street, the mother is a teacher and the, and the dad's like a stay at home uh, job dad and super nice guy. I mean, people behind are super nice. My neighbors over here are super nice. Everybody that I've met has been really, 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 really cool. So I don't have any woods. Here we go, here we go. I got some fake wood to knock on. But yeah, yeah, super cool. Okay, so I'm cleaning out the garage because it's gonna be extremely dusty in here when he goes ahead and uh, <clears throat> when he comes in here, he starts grinding the floor down because the first thing he has to do is grind the floors, make the surface uh, attracting, uh, attractive to the, to the epoxy. But so I took all the bikes off the wall, I took all the, all the tools out and everything, but one thing that I haven't moved is the trike. And check this out, it's pretty cool actually. I bought a kayak lift. It's designed for kayaks, to lift kayaks in the garage. And it's a simple pulley system, so you got the front pulley there, and then the middle pulley there, and then you've got a, a, a third pulley there that, that attaches to a cleat on the wall. And basically I can lower this and raise this, and even control the pitch and everything. It's, it's not as, extensive as some other pulleys that I've bought, but it gets the job done and It's really strong and the trike stays balanced. It doesn't tip or anything But I want to get the bike trike down and move it maybe into the house or something or Maybe I can put it in the van for the time being because I don't want it to get uh, yeah, that's what I'll do I'll put it in the van This is actually gonna be the first time I've let it come down, which is interesting Let's see how easier hard that goes. So I'm gonna fold it. Go That was so cool. And then it has a couple of buckles here. You just undo the buckles and, uh, and you're good to go. They had a few different ones. I chose the ones for, for one for kayaks because it was rated for a little bit heavier weight. Hey, 
Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. Morning. Morning. I'm getting the I'm getting the garage epoxy, so I gotta store it somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, you starting today? Yeah, yeah. He's coming in about noon. Oh, okay. Hey you. Hi. Hey you. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to work on the uh, the insertion of this trike inside the van, which is something I plan to do from time to time. That was not elegant whatsoever. In fact, that was a pain in the pain in the ass. Welcome to Annie's Dim Sum. Yay! <laughs> And just be careful. The juice is inside this. It's hot. Super hot. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you don't want to. Like explode in your mouth. <laughs> One of my favorites is a fried dumpling where they like it's a it's a bowl, so it's like a bread. It's not like this is the rice. Fried and, and it's fried on the bottom. Like so, like it's it's got a crispy underside. So and then like a pierogi kind. Yeah, of yeah, pie. sort of, sort of. But you got to be careful when you bite into that thing because it will explode. All right, so Eve is off at her play date. And uh, we have finished our dim sum trial. I think we need to do a, a few more to practice. Need to refine our dim sum skills. It was a good meal. Annie did a good job, but... Next time we'll do a better dim sum, eh? Okay, so uh, we finished dim sum. Now it's time to get the get the uh, garage epoxy. Another thing that we're doing, we're, we're, we're going to the Ford house today with my Nona. And we are going to uh, have like a have a little dinner at the Ford house, but yeah, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the garage epoxy. It's gonna look really nice. You charged me the mileage to get from your house to mine. <laughs> so how long you been doing floors, Eddie? About four years. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I was going to do it myself, man. I got the spiky boots. I've got the epoxy. I got the two sets, the extra rust-oleum. And Eddie here, I saw, I saw the trailer on the house down the street. I walked up to him. I said, hey, man, I bought the, I bought the rust-oleum kit for my garage. He's like, man, you made a mistake, bro. <laughs> I charged you more to do it. Because <laughs> once you do the rust-oleum and start peeling off, now you got to use a different pad almost you gotta grind it twice you want to get the old epoxy and want to surface yeah. it again so i'm glad you did it <laughs> of color is sort of a big deal when you're doing epoxy coatings. A lot of people put some blue in there, like blue and whites and black. I decided to get a little bit of a, a brown mixture, so like a brown tan and a little bit of black. It's gonna be cool. Two boxes? Well, this happens a lot quicker than I thought. Yeah. You guys are done scoring and you're done vacuuming. It's the, it's the equipment. You got the right you stuff. You have to use a power washer. Yeah. You got to let it dry and wait a few days for it. I'd be with the orbital sander. I'd have about this much done by now. No. <laughs> the swirls that the machine makes in the ground is that will really bonds the, the epoxy to the help adhere the epoxy to the ground. They scratched the floor to make to make it so the Flat. epoxy can suck it up. Ooh. And now they're going to lay it on. Oh, this is Annie. 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 Nice to uh, meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Here, take a look at our floor color. Cool. 
And that's it, right? Game the time. The clock starts. Game time. Yeah. You have 20 minutes to spread that whole bucket. Get it nice and even. Last year we had to fix a job, a DIY project for a guy that he used a paint stick to mix the epoxy. Oh, okay. So it, wasn't it, was, it was not mixed. So when I went to go give him an estimate, he said, why is my floor so sticky? Oh, I said, if I do your floor, I'll tell you why. He was a cool guy. I told him why we ended up doing the floor for her. But they used the paint stick to mix the floor How up. How did you get it off? Did you have to use like some like acid yet. or something? Like that? This is just about like spreading it, right? Yes. Most, most, and then you come in with a brush and you... No, the roller and I just uh, finish. Some people ask me to do seamless. I never recommend it because it's gonna crack over time. Right? It's gonna crack over time, and I mean those control joints were put there for a reason. Right, right, right. So is this base different color than the base you use for the yellow or blue flags? Yes. It's totally different. Right? Yes. There is about maybe four popular four like tones. Four tones. Ten for all the browns. Light gray, it's probably the most popular because it goes well with a lot. And uh, haze gray, I think. Okay. There is and there's a black. Oh, I like the tan, man. I'm, I'm happy. This is nice. going to go well with the, the look of your house. Yeah. yeah. Do you want the top of it? Yeah, okay. yeah. They'll, they'll throw the flakes uh, as soon as they got it spread on and then. Yeah. Do you, you just toss them, right? You're throwing them? How long after the flakes do you put the top coat on? Usually two hours. Now the water is a little bit cooler. I say maybe more like three. The first few times you did this, was it nerve wracking? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, there had been a lot of the clock set up. We, yeah. People screaming at each other. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Can my wife throw a hand? Oh yeah, of course. How do you know? I know you, I know you. How do you know? You can throw more if you want. That's it, that's it. <laughs> that's all she needs. You've officially taken part in the garage. That's your garage. Yeah. You're gonna live in. Yeah. Oh I put one here. Oh, you got flies! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't make her mad. Eddie, thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Wait until it. the clear coat goes on it. Oh, yeah. That's when it'll pop. Really, really it'll pop. It. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Henry Ford grew up here as a child, or Henry Ford's kids, or Edsel Ford was the original Henry Ford's son. Correct. Okay. So, Etzel Ford grew up. Etzel Ford grew up here. Yeah. So this place turned into like a museum for the house. And so you can go see the original house, but they built a tourist center here. It has a beautiful restaurant. Annie and I like to come here. It feels like eat. something Hayat. Yeah. Nimble. It feels very fancy. And the food's good, right? <laughs> food's good. Always had good food. Okay. okay. Eva likes calamari now, apparently. I can't like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, the visitor center is kind of interesting. Even the tables here are made out of reclaimed wood from the mansion, which is down the road. I had a hamburger. It was tasty. He was eating oranges. This whole Ford area is really, really interesting. Not only does it tell the story of uh, Etzel Ford and the Ford family, but it tells the story of me too. Like when I was younger, my grandparents used to uh, have a little boat and we would go out and we'd go out in Lake St. Clair, which is through that inlet there. And uh, we would go and have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And my grandpa would tell me ghost stories and we'd sit and hear the water lap up against the bow of the boat. This is basically the Ford family's own cove. We would come in here, we would anchor and we would tell stories and hang out and swim around in the cove and everything. And this cove here was like really part of my life. It's really beautiful when the depth of spring comes in and all these trees end up getting a lot of more foliage and whatnot. But you can see right there on the corner, that's the Ford house. Like that's the original house. I think that like Thomas Edison actually did, uh, did personally did electrical work on that house because Henry Ford was friends with uh, Thomas Edison. So now we're gonna head back to the house and they're gonna do the last gloss coat over the uh, epoxy floor. A nice uh, lunch, dinner, liner, dunch. <laughs> Late lunch, early dinner. Well, I had too many tacos. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Can't even move it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna uh, uh, grind it off. And vacuuming it? Yeah. And then spray it. Or, uh, and then roll it. But yeah, do the same thing, you know, spread it and then, you know, roll it and oh, okay. pretty cool, much cool, done. Cool. All right, so they're scraping off uh, anything that's standing because they're really, really inundated with those chips. So they're scraping them off and then they're putting a clear coat on there. My garage will be done. This is where the magic happens, sort of. Oh yeah, I made that color There's a little spot. Let's see the dry. And what was the name of it, Molly? Molly Aspartic is the type of top coat this is, and it's made by Sumra. And he does such a thick layer of flakes what that does is it allows the top coat to get in between all the nooks and crannies of all those flakes. So it's almost like you get a, a thicker a thicker layer, right? Because it's it's bonding to all those surfaces of all those flakes. So when people advertise three or four times stronger than just epoxy, yeah. it's because it's not just epoxy. Yeah. It's you're doing those multiple layers, but people don't explain it. They're using epoxy, but the way you lay it down, that thick layer you just explained. Thought I'd make a little addendum. Garage looks great. I have some baseboard that I'm planning to put around the base and I also would like to do some shaker like uh, patterns on the walls here as well as lighting. I want the basement or the, I want the garage to be well lit. But I think I can move the trike back in here. Maybe I can do a, a trike photo shoot. That's one of the reasons I picked this brown is because my trike is yellow and uh, it goes really well together. That's pretty cool. It's like a cho trike showroom. That's why I chose the brown because the yellow and the brown Really nice contrast. <laughs> that looks so cool. I'm gonna take some pictures.